celebration of local um, Polynesian artists from all across the country. Um, it, is, it is an honour and privilege to actually be the host of the show here in Lower Hutt. Um, we hardly get events here. It's always done in Auckland, but um, I think we have to remember that there is um, Polynesia everywhere else. There's Christchurch, there's Wellington, and we're just honoured and privileged to have it here in our city. Music started for me um, as a lot of the, you know, the stereotypical, you know, the islanders, you know, church, family. I've always loved it, man. I think it was, uh, the timing was for when I wanted to pursue it. Um, I was always doing music bro, ever since I was, ever since I can remember, like young as. Um, it was always just a matter of time of when I wanted to put into action what I had in my head and share it with everyone. Oh, so the name Reno came from, it's funny, it was, it's random as, but um, from rugby at school, first 15, um, out of nowhere, I know one of the boys, and since I made TV, I'm going to Joe from Mitty Money, he's, he's the boy that I first heard called say Reno, eh? And before that, no one else called me Reno. It's, it just stuck. 2013 when I graduated, um, that's when no one was really doing music, like, um, was really hard, especially out of your bedroom, no labels and all of that. Um, but I knew that that's what I wanted to do. Um, and it's, it's an age thing too, because like, you got to take it while you're young. You know, it's not something, your voice is not going to stay the same and, and all of that. My massive music inspirations, as I said, was uh, from my family. Um, a lot from my favourite artists. Um, of all time, uh, George Vekoso, Fiji. Um, he was actually like a massive part of why I did want to pursue it. I saw what he could do, um, just the way the way he sung. And then when I seen him perform live for the first time, there was something else. Um, he kind of he kind of confirmed that yeah, that's where I want to be. That's how you could do it. One Love is different. Uh, when I first went, I can still remember the first time I went, I wasn't actually singing. Uh, Brown Hood took me along and pretty much took me to for the experience and all of that. And then I was fortunate enough after to um, BV for um, a lot of artists um, that I grew up listening to. Um, and that was a massive opportunity, um, including Fiji. And what I found out was the massive community of um, the musos musicians who actually they all really know each other so it's just when they come together at the back it's just family and uh, I think that's one big thing that I, I got from that. No, it's important to you know use the Samoan language in my music. Um, for me it's, it, it came naturally like um, that's that's from my upbringing and that's, that's my strength, so I, I know that's my strength. Um, I was fortunate enough to grow up um, knowing about my culture, knowing about um, you know, the values of, of my culture, everything about it. Um, so when I do sing in my native tongue, it comes easy. Bro. When you get to go backstage with especially artists that uh, you grew up listening to, uh, artists that you were looking up to like, man, those are my jams. Artists that were on your phone when you were in college and um, now that's massive man. Like you know, sometimes you still gotta pinch yourself. Like even when you've been doing it for this long, when you see those people, you know, sometimes you gotta pinch yourself. Um, but you know, now that we're on a level of friends, 
Um, what I love about the industry is um, everyone stays connected. So either whether you're doing a show here in Australia or doing a show in Samoa or doing a show in New Zealand, you know, you see them again and you just connect again. It's just when you know that everyone's on the same page, you know, we're all struggling trying to do this music thing. Uh, and then when we come together, we get to celebrate that we're here at a gig together. My dad was in the crowd, so I was singing my heart out. Thank you to Island Block Party, shout out to all the artists who are on the lineup, shout out to Tana Tupai, shout out to Abina. Thank you again for having us. Let's get, let's go!